the Oroville Dam is, but others might not be so familiar with the area itself. Uh, Darren's been examining this area all morning long and is going to give us a closer perspective. And there's some good news, too. But in order to get to the good news, I do want to lay the foundation here for just a little bit more perspective. You've heard a lot of things about emergencies, bullying and dams. First of all, here's the big picture. Where's this dam? Well, you got to drive 70 miles north of Sacramento, first of all, to get up to the town of Oroville. That would take you just about an hour to get up there. And then once you do that, you turn up into the foothills, and that's where the reservoir is, which is, of course, formed because the tallest dam in the country is holding it back. That's Oroville Dam, and this is the second largest reservoir in California. That's the spillway. That's the way we want to release water from the dam, and that's the way we've been releasing water from the dam. Only about halfway th down that slide, the concrete's broken up. So for a while, they thought, maybe we shouldn't send so much water down that. And when they stopped sending water down that, the reservoir rose. And the reservoir rose so high, it got to the top of that. You see that concrete wall there? That concrete wall, that 30-foot high concrete wall, that is the emergency spillway. If you look in the distance there, that's the dam. That's the 770-foot high dam, the huge face of it's over there. This is a little bit lower than that dam. So if the reservoir got so high, higher than we wanted it to, rather than letting it flow over the face of the dam, they put this emergency spillway over here as an absolute last resort. Let the water flow out this way rather than going over the dam. That's what was happening yesterday. Now the problem with this is that 30 foot high concrete wall has dirt at the base of it. And most likely what happened here is all that water yesterday afternoon flowing over this 30 foot concrete wall started to erode the dirt down here. That then compromised the integrity of this wall and for a time, for about an hour there, there was real concern this 30-foot wall would collapse, in which case you'd have a 30-foot wall of water rush down that hill. And that would have gone straight into the Feather River, and we can follow that progression. The Feather River then works its way down to the town of Oroville. Oroville, you were under mandatory evacuations, and still are under mandatory evacuations, because this is not entirely out of the woods yet. You can see why Oroville's evacuations were mandatory. Then we get down towards Yuba City, and it was an optional. Can we go to the video for a second? And I want to talk about the good news. So there's the spillway doing what it's supposed to do. This is where the concrete broke, so you get a dramatic view. But the water flowing down this way today has looked a lot clearer than it did yesterday, and that tells us something. There's less dirt getting ripped out of this spillway, which means there is less erosion happening, which means this river has probably done, that slide has probably done all the damage it's going to do. And if that's the case, and this is conjecture at this point, but if that's the case, they'll be able to let that spillway just keep releasing water. And that's what we want, because that way we can lower the reservoir without letting it get back up to the emergency spillway. Ladies, back over to you.